Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy lagging. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm old guy gaming, and uh, we are going to do another episode here of Subsistence. Um, this is going to just kind of be, we're going to do episode, I just said that. <laughs> we're going to just, we got to do what we're going to do. Uh, meaning that we got to gather wood, we got to go loot and get nails, you know, the usual kinds of things. But um, I don't have enough time in real life to do that off camera so i'm just gonna do it on camera you guys get to watch because you know that's a big part of this game anyways and um that way i can get an episode out to you because i'm you know I, I told you in the last episode i'm gonna try and do at least one episode a week uh moving forward for the you know for the near future anyways uh i i want to keep this series going it's just you know it's slowed down quite a bit for various reasons uh, you know, lots of stuff going on in real life, and I'm also absolutely addicted right now to Gold Rush. <laughs> so the deal with that, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last episode or not, but when my dad uh, was here for my son's wedding, uh, he got me watching Gold Rush. Um, actually, he got me watching Burying Sea Gold and also Gold Rush. And, you know, I knew that the game there was a game you know that came out a few years ago based upon that show and but you know i never played it myself it, it, it's something i kind of looked at and go that could be fun but never really got into it and so you know i started watching gold rush on discovery channel and then i said all right i gotta try this game out and boy i am just having a blast with that so uh, a lot of you who are watching this video probably know that and are maybe even watching that series uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's definitely a simulator type of game for sure. In fact, you know, this game is really kind of a simulator type of game in my mind, too. This is a, sur a survival simulator, um, really, more than almost anything else. But, um, you know, Gold Rush is a is a gold mining simulator. And, um, you know, the game, I'm, I'm just having a blast with the game. So, I'm you know, putting out episodes of that. I'm waiting for my Undead Legacy series to get caught up, which it will be next week. And then, I, you know, I'll get going on those videos again, too. So, just lots of stuff going on. Um, and, yeah, so we're going to just, like I said, jump in here and do whatever we need to do. And we're going to do it on camera and have fun and continue enjoying subsistence. I was going to say one other thing to you guys, too, but I can't remember what it was now. So, anyway, all right. How are we doing on, a, on the fires? Looks like we could actually stand to do that. So, really, our... our primary goal today you guys is wood i mean we are seriously low on wood lower on wood than i think i've ever been before um so that's going to be our focus uh, but we will of course do we need to hunt we're not really in too bad a shape on food and all of that uh i do need to make some more tomato soups but i don't want to do that while i'm out and about because we have to stay here to you know keep an eye on that sort of thing so um yeah why don't we Oh, we're not even hungry enough to eat that yet. How about this? There we go. I love the liver and onions because it gives you both. You know, it's it's a really good t topping off uh, food there. Where are my can- Oh, my canteens are in the fireplace, right. So anyway, yeah, we're just going to go out and have fun. Do, you know, do the usual thing in this wonderful game. But, you know, don't worry. It is, uh, it's not my intention to, to stop the series. It's just slowing down a bit for a while, uh, you know, while I'm doing some other things. But I do want to keep this going. You know, this is probably just going to be a long play series. I, I've noticed that, you know, several of the other YouTubers that regularly... Oh, look at that. Uh, regularly put out uh, subsistence videos. Um, like Ono Koho, for example, and Emma uh, Mittems. You know, they've, they've, they're they've like in like episode 300. <laughs> you know, so that, that just kind of goes to show that if the pros are have that big of a long play, then... I'm going to, too, it, you know, but it's just not, we're just not going to be doing episodes, um, you know, multiple episodes a week for now. That could change uh, later on, and I'll, I'll ramp it up a little bit more. But the point I'm trying to make is it is my intention to keep this going for an indefinite period of time, um, even if the episodes will will be a little fewer and far further between for, for now. Okay, so enough said about that. Uh, we got to put that in there. We do have one lock pick with us. Uh, we're not in the best of shape on arrows. Did I make some more premiums in here? I thought I did. Man, I must have really been using those on the hunters or something. Uh, nails aren't too bad, so why don't we take um, some of these nails here. We'll split them in half maybe twice. And we'll make 28 nails worth of arrows. Uh, those feathers are not supposed to be in there. 
So let's grab the feathers and then let's see. We, we also need sticks, which, oh my goodness. All right, this will make us 20 sticks. Oh yeah, we have got to cut wood today, guys. That is just absolute number one priority. Uh, but let's turn all of these into sticks so we can then, um, you know, make some, some more basic arrows for us while we go out and about. And let's see, we're good on food and water. Oh, let's check our, let's check our Jenny. Uh, make sure that that's in good shape. Uh, no, don't turn it off. Uh, we don't need to run this because we're, we're heading out, so let's turn that off. I haven't had a chance to get that upgraded yet, but that is in, in the plans. It's on the to-do list. So we have 136 in, 49 out, so we're doing fine on that. Okay. We'll put this back in here. Uh, we don't have anything cooking, and the fires are going to just keep going and continue making ash for us. I should probably make another pick. Wait, do I have another pick? No, I don't. All right, yeah, let's do that, too, because, um, you know, we want to keep mining, of course. Ah, shoot, I don't even have enough boards for that. Okay, well, <laughs> maybe we won't be doing a whole lot of that, but, you know, that's okay. It's wood. Wood is what we got to get, so we are going to be... Old guy bunion today. And cut some trees down. Yes, indeed we are. Okay, I think we're good to go. I have no idea when the hunters are gonna attack. I just, you know <laughs> I don't know when they're gonna attack. So if they attack, they attack. Our base is in good condition. Well, I think it's in good condition. Let me double check that actually. I'm I'm pretty sure that it is. Oh, we should check the chickens too. For food and water. And yeah, we better let's top them off too. We'll just use some dirty water for them. They don't care. They're chickens. They eat their food in the dirt anyway, so dirty water, nah, no big deal. Okay, so we'll just fill them up with water, and we'll throw probably a couple tomatoes. I think I have one grub that we can give them too. Since we're looking at this, how are you guys doing? Ah, crap. Okay, let's just let's water everybody. Let's just get everybody watered up. So two for you, two for you. We're letting the carrots sit there for now because uh, I'm just kind of out of space. So I'm not going to do anything with them. And we'll fill these back up. And I think we also have some furt that we can use too that I'm starting to stock up on. So we might as well put that to use. Oh, darn it. I missed a, I missed a canteen, man. So yeah, if you guys like simulator games, or if you like gold, I mean, who doesn't like gold, right? Uh, check out that series. I'm Like I said, I'm just really having a lot of fun with them. I'm, I'm a greenhorn, absolutely new to gold mining in general, and even, you know, similar simulator games. And, you know, there's a lot of heavy machinery operating in that game, but it's a lot of fun. And, you know, people that do play those games frequently have said one of the things that game gets right is how they, you know, how the machinery works. It's got some other kind of quirky things and in in some ways feels a little bit unfinished. What am I looking for? Uh, let's just, yeah, let's grab maybe three tomatoes for them. That's probably, we probably only need two, but we'll see. But, I mean, overall, the game is just fun because, you know, you, you get gold fever. <laughs> That's good on that. You, you totally get gold fever playing it, and uh, I'm just enjoying it. So check it out if you're interested. And, uh, yeah. All right. Let's see. So we're going to just fertilize up all of these because I got lots of extra ash. And let's even just fertilize this so that way it's ready to go when we do start using it. I'll put the rest of this in here. <coughs> excuse me. And then the mater we'll put in the fridge. Oh, excuse me. My word. I just blew my brains out. I just sneezed my brains out. I'll put that in there. All right, guys. I think we're good. And see, we, we could even stand to eat another one of these now, huh? All that running around. And we're thirsty again, too. That's because it's hot, though. That is because it is hot. And, you know, running the stoves in the house. What what did I do with those canteens? In the wintertime. Or in the summertime, sorry. Uh, doesn't help the situation at all. But I'm, the reason I'm doing that is because, you know, to keep generating ash more than anything. Because we need it for gunpowder and fertilizer and that sort of thing. All right, let's put this in here and let these guys cook up. And I just want to check what time is it? Looks like it's, oh, it's late in the afternoon. We might we might do some logging at night. Uh, but it looks like I did repair all of this because this top area is, oh, 
Is that a... No, oh, that's a sandstone. This top area is usually the last thing that I repair, so if this is looking good, I think we're fine. All right, guys, let's head on out. We're going to have to kind of be a little judicious about our mining, which means we're not going to get copper or zinc because I have quite a bit of that stuff. But we will be picking up iron and potassium. Let's go get some trees, man. I'm just going to hit every tree I come across. I don't care if it's grub tree or not. If it's a three wood tree, a one log tree, a six log tree, doesn't matter. We're just going to hit it. And keep get that wood for us. We've got a bear over there. We'll have to keep an eye on him. But, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just trying to think about what's going to happen next in this series for us on this game. Um... I'm, I'm planning on staying where we are for quite some time to come. I got more plans, you know, for the base to build it. So that's really kind of the main thing right now is just getting the resources to keep expanding the base and kind of build it out the way that I've, I've envisioned it. And, you know, we're making good progress on that, but we have, we, we still have more to go. And I've, you know, I've shared this with you guys before, if you've been watching the series all along. Uh, the, you know, we're going to build a wall all the way around the whole compound, uh, just like it already is. Eventually get it all upgraded to armor, uh, armor plating. And the reason for that is we don't need another chicken, so we're, we're not going to mess with chicken. Uh, the reason for that is so that, you know, we're going to eventually blow up Charlie's base and they might re, when they respawn into the world, they might come in more over on this side and attack us from this side so we need to make sure the whole base all the way around is fortified so we're going to do that we're going to keep building the base up my plan is to have some kind of a lookout tower um, idea when it's all said and done and that's going to be cool i don't specifically know what that's going to look like yet i just have a general plan in mind so it'll just come together as it comes together and be really cool when it's done um so that's kind of you know what's coming up next for you know for the next few episodes uh what i have planned anyways for the next few did i hit this tree uh, yeah i did because the bear's down there uh for the next few episodes uh obviously we're gonna want we're gonna gotta make some more cave runs and some lava runs is this yeah this is potassium we need potassium we are very low on potassium and um i'm still you know like i mentioned i think in the last episode i'm still not sure what we're gonna do for season three in terms of where we're going to live. Um, I, I had, you know, I have the place up in the north that I've had always planned on doing on season three until they, you know, until Cold Games came out with the update with the new territory. And then, you know, we went over there a few episodes ago and I found that spot up on the cliff that I just fell in love with. So, you know, I'm not sure what, to, I'm still a little torn about that. But one thing I don't like about the new area, from what I've seen so far, granted I haven't spent a lot of time over there, is it seems like you know, the resources are a little bit sparser over there than they are in the original map, or you know, the older map, I should say. So I don't know if that's true or not. Let me know in the comments if you guys think that is, in fact, the case. I want to say one of you might have even said something like along the lines... Uh, along those lines to me before but i can't remember for sure uh if that was the case so yeah what do we got we got a level one here all right let's make sure we are using the basic arrows and i gotta remember how to how to do this so we gotta hold right and then click left it's a little different than most other games using the bow and and we use the axe that's right we use the axe to butcher as opposed to a hunting knife. You know, you guys know how it is. If you play multiple games, then you get sometimes you get a little confused. From one game to the next, you develop that muscle memory in your fingers, and then you go play something else, and it's all out of whack, and it takes you a little bit of time to get you know back in the swing of things. Well, that's what's happening, man. Especially when you're old like me, and you can't remember anything anyways. <laughs> uh, looks like we have something on the beach there it's probably just a uh just some plant fibers now um i don't have a light stick do i do i have a working flashlight 
Yeah, I think our battery's dead, isn't it? Oh, for goodness sakes. All right, well, shoot. This is going to make things difficult for everybody to see. What I'll try and do, because I don't want to stop, guys. I want to I want to get this wood. We, we need it. I mean, if we get attacked right now, I don't have enough wood to repair. That's how important it is that we keep going here. So what I'll do in the editing is I'll... I'll up the gamma a little bit, and hopefully it'll be good enough for most of you to see. If it makes you feel any better, I can't see a damn thing either, so at least we're all, you know, we're on even territory here. <laughs> uh, okay, what was that? Something. Oh, medicinal herb. We hit that tree already. And yeah, actually, if the, if the moon comes out, which it looks like it sort of kind of is, that'll give us a little bit of light. So along with the gamma boost, hopefully you guys will be able to see. Okay, man, I'm like, I've already hit all these trees. I'm sitting here yak doodling and not paying attention to what's going on. Okay, so we'll hit this tree. I wouldn't mind getting a little more honey, too, before the summer's over. It is August now in the game. But I really need to carry an insect repellent with me because... You know, that way I'm ready to go. And one of you guys told me in the comments or suggested that in the comments too. And it's not that I disagree with that. It's just that inventory slots are so precious in this game that, you know, I'm reluctant to take up a slot for, for something that I might, might use and might not use, you know. I'd almost prefer to find the honey and run back to the base and get it. If it's not all the way across on the other end of the map, that is, which half the time it is. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of six of one, half dozen the other, I guess. Well, let's see if we can get ourselves a nice big old batch of wood. So we can repair our base and start stockpiling. Thought I saw a light moving in the water towards the base, but maybe not. I'll start stockpiling boards again so we can do our next building session. It's all about the resources in this game, man. They are not easy to come by, and I'm okay with that. Most other games are make things a little too easy. Oh, hey, you know what? That's another thing about Gold Rush 2 is uh, it isn't easy either. I mean... That game is a lot of work. It depends upon your settings, though, too, of course. There's a setting in it that I ended up enabling because things were taking just way, way too long where you can occasionally luck out and find a, a big gold nugget. And at first, you know, if it, for those of you, of course, that, who haven't, aren't watching that series, at first I thought it was um, a, a little OP because it was procking a lot. But what happens is, as you progress, it procs less and less until eventually you reach a cap on the gold claim that you're working, and then it doesn't happen at all. So um, I'm glad that I turned that on because it made it made the grind a little more tolerable. Let's just put it that way, because that game is a grind, just like this one. But it's fun, you know? It is fun. You really kind of get a feel for operating heavy machinery I mean, of course you're not doing it for real, but at least you understand the principle of it once you start doing it in that game and learning the controls and how to work the bucket on the on the backhoe excavator, that sort of thing. Okay. We got a level two. Oh, there's our attack. Uh, uh, you know what? We're going to let them go to town. We're just a little too far away to get back there and intercept them. And like I said, we we need wood. So hopefully they don't hopefully they don't do major damage and they get stuck under the porch. Most likely at least one or two of them will. Alright, we've got a level two bear there. I wouldn't mind getting whatever this ore is. But I think that's a black bear. And I generally stay away from black bears because they're just not worth it. All right, we got his attention, but he's not attacking. He's just uh, uh, tracking. He's not attacking. He's tracking. Okay, the level two wolf we're going to kill. Wait, is that bear? He, he shouldn't be following us anymore. 
I hope not. Man, I hope this doesn't turn out too dark for you guys. I, if it does, I apologize in advance. Um, it's not too bad right now, I mean, with the moonlight and everything, but I'll do the best I can in editing to brighten it up. I wish we had a headlamp in the in the game, you know? I think I've already probably mentioned that, and probably other people who have played this game have mentioned it too. All right, let's go back down here and wash our mitts. Yeah, and we got some scrap. That's always good. We'll take that. What have you guys mentioned to me in the comments? Oh, man, it just got darker and I'll get out. Uh, okay, that didn't last too long. I think it's getting close to daylight. Uh, what, did, what was I going to say? One of you guys mentioned in the comments to me a while back about something. <laughs> I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, well, whatever it was, you mentioned it, and I can't remember. So, that's the way it goes. We were killing a wolf... And something, something happened. We were talking about mining helmets, mining lights. Ah, I, I completely lost it. Sorry, guys. It'll come, it'll come back to me at 3:30 in the morning, and I'll call you all up and let you know what it was. <laughs> all right, do we hit this? No, this is a four log tree. It is starting to get lighter out now, so that's a good thing. That is a good thing. This is our locked crate area oh I know what I was going to say um someone made a comment to me a while back that they were jealous of the amount of scrap that I have you know I've, I've just never really had too much difficulty gathering adequate scrap in this game I never have enough wood never have enough nails it seems well that's not true I shouldn't say never but those are the th you know, those are the two things. Never have enough iron. Or again, I'm saying never, but what I mean is iron wood nails. For me, uh, in my experience with this game so far, is those are the three things that I just constantly don't have enough of, you know? And the wood and the nails in particular have a lot to do with my settings and the fact that we're on, you know, the we're on random attacks. And that just sucks the nails and the the wood in particular just because you got to keep up with the repair so it makes it a lot more difficult to progress you know in terms of building your base and all that sort of thing when you're you know half to 70 percent of your resources are always going towards keeping your base repaired and i'm not complaining about that i choose to play on those settings um because i, I enjoy the challenge of the game so it's not a complaint thing it's just an explanation as to why you know things are so challenging sometimes in this game resource wise but all that's to say i've never really had a problem with scrap um oh crap i always seem to be able to keep enough scrap on hand for the most part i mean you know there have been has been a time or two when i was a bit short of it but not on a regular basis like those other resources that i mentioned we got some sunshine ladies and gentlemen i'm loving it all right, let's hit this uh, six logger grub tree. Keep our eyes peeled for any enemies, and I'm also keeping my eyes peeled for any locked crates because we do have the one lock pick. There's another wolf over there. All right. Let's grab him. Oh, here's a crate here. A couple crates. Uh, yesterday was Saturday, and we live streamed uh, the forest. Oh, there's a lock crate right there. Look at that. All right, let's get it. And so, oh, another attack. Attack number two. Okay. I always like to come at the same time. So what do we have here? Eh, it's okay. Not the best one, actually. Not even close to the best one, but it's okay. And so, yeah, we've been playing the forest, and I think our next stream, which will be this coming Wednesday, uh, today is June the 5th, will probably be our final stream on that because I think we're ready to go find Timmy. 
Uh, but, you know, I've enjoyed it. I've thought about maybe trying it solo, but I, I don't know if I'm going to or not. Um, yeah, we're not getting copper because we have plenty and our, our pick is really low and we didn't have the resources to make a new one. So copper we're leaving behind today as, as we will with zinc, like I mentioned before. Uh, so, yeah, forest. We were talking about forest. I, it's a game that when it first came out, uh, almost 10 years ago, mind you, I think it was 2014, so eight years ago, I played it for just a little bit, um, and it was fun. It was something different, because, you know, the forest was one of the earlier survival games of its style and type. Um, you know, other games that are similar to that, you know, that come to mind are like uh, Green Hell, which is another game. I started and would like to finish at some point. And, uh, you know, so you got like the template building and you got your your backpack and your inventories all in the backpack and you can lay it out and see it, which is really cool. Uh, so I played it solo for a bit, but I never really got very far in it because I was kind of more in on checking the game out mode. And I can't remember exactly why I quit playing it. Uh, single player. I tried multiplayer with my son and a couple of his buddies, and it was just the buggiest thing I had ever experienced in my life. <laughs> it was really bad. And so now, you know, we're eight years later, right? And it's still buggy. It's not as bad as it was. It's generally playable, but man, we have had a lot of trouble on multiplayer uh, getting stuff to work right on that server. So it's just a little frustrating because you think, you know, after eight years of this game being out that they would fix that kind of crap. But uh, no, it doesn't. So it is what it is. But I'm looking forward to, to finishing it um, and seeing, you know, how the story ends because all I know is that our son Timmy was, you know, kidnapped by the cannibals and that's it. <laughs> I don't know what happens after that. And uh, so we've spent time going around through the different caves and getting all the good stuff, like, you know, the modern bow and the scuba gear and all that sort of thing. And that was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that part of the game, fighting the monsters and stuff. And, um, you know, really cool game overall. And it's one that I have considered and maybe even am, am still considering. I'm not sure if I am or not. <laughs> uh, maybe doing a solo series on it because... You know, playing multiplayer is one thing, because you got all your friends to help you out and stuff, and if you die, they can revive you and that sort of thing. But doing that game solo, um, it's kind of creepy for one thing. I mean, not going to lie, if you guys have never seen the forest and you're, you know, you're a little queasy about gore and violence and cannibalism and that kind of thing, I can't recommend the game for you. I wouldn't I wouldn't let little kids watch it, that's for sure. Uh, but anyway, um, is that another lock crate? No. So I'm thinking about it. I don't know. The, the other problem with that game is there's some nudity on it. And, you know, that's uh, that could get me in trouble. Um, or, you know, or I'd have to make sure and edit that out, which is just a lot of extra work and that kind of thing. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it, though. But there's other there's other games I want to play, too. There's the one that uh, I think the Fountain of Youth one that's coming out that uh, one of my viewers, uh, Stevie D., sent me a link to and I was looking at that and it looks like that could be really good so I might be keeping my eye on that game it's not technically out yet but I think there's a demo that you can play uh, a lot of the people in the discord community are, are playing that new V rising game and you know they're kind of saying it's it's like um, a little bit like Valheim but with more bosses and stuff like that so yeah lots of options out there for sure I talked with my multiplayer group, which, by the way, anybody who is a member on the channel, a, a YouTube member, is, is eligible to play multiplayer with us. Um, FYI, in case that might be you. Uh, but anyway, the, the usual folks that I play multiplayer with, um, we talked a little bit yesterday about what we were going to do next, knowing that you know we're probably only going to have one more stream of the forest. And one of the games I'd, I'd like to kind of get back into and try out a little more is Raft. Uh, we played it one time, or I played it one time, for a few hours on a, like a Saturday afternoon stream with a couple other people, and I really actually enjoyed it. And I was I was impressed with how challenging the game actually is. So we might uh, we might get back into raft, and I think there's been an update 
uh, a pretty big update since the last time I played it, which was, I don't know, four or five months ago maybe now. Uh, so, like, maybe there's a new island or something. So, lots of, lots of possibilities. Lots of possibilities. All right, we're going to swing up uh, just to the edge of the birch wood and start working our way back. How much wood do I have? I've got 121 chunks of wood, so that's not too bad. It'll get us back in the game anyways. And, you know, we're going to have to, of course, spend some of that, maybe even a lot of it, to deal with the freaking uh, hunter attacks. But let's just swing up here by the birch wood and grab a few more birch trees. In fact, let's go all the way up to this um, grub tree and grab it too, and then we'll kind of start working our way that direction. So we've had two attacks. I won't... Oh, look at that. Two crates right next to each other. I won't be surprised if we get a third attack too before we get back. But at least if that does happen, we'll we'll know they're all done for this this cycle. I don't. This is pretty rare, man. I I, I I'm I think I have seen crates that close together before, but it doesn't happen every day. Does not happen every day. Uh, I saw some scrap. Yeah, here we go. Let's pick that up. That is a. Uh, a wolf. All right, we can kill him. Okay, so we have 11 things of fat. How are we doing nutrition-wise? We're getting kind of low, aren't we? All right, let's eat this apple, and let's have a couple of livers. And uh, a drink of water. Uh, we can even turn. We can even make a couple berry waters too. Why don't we do that? There we go. Okay. We'll hit the grub tree and start working our way back towards the base. Sounds like the hunters over there mixing it up with some critters. We haven't uh, actually done a raid in a while either. I don't think, have we? <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, we got a brownie there. Um, guess we could take him out. Let's make sure everybody's loaded here. Especially the shotgun. Uh, go to four. All right, what we're going to do... You know what? Actually, I want to save my good arrows for the hunters. So let's pop him once or twice with the rifle, and then we'll finish him off with the shoddy. Here we go. Make sure everything's fully loaded. That's not a fairly decent uh, amount of material there. All right, let's hit some birch trees. These are all four loggers. And we'll work our way down uh, towards the water. Get our hands washed. There's a crate there. We're going to grab that. There's Charlie's base way over there. We don't want to get too close. As long as we stay on this side of the, the creek, uh, we're fine, though, in terms of the distance away from those dudes. up that way. So, I'll tell you what. Why don't you guys let me know what you would like to see me do for Season 3 in terms of base location. Would you prefer that I go up into the north and essentially build on that island in the middle of the of the big river which was 
was where I was planning on building next until the update. Mm, I'd like to get that crate, but I think that's a little too close to the hunters. Of course, for all I know, the bastards have already attacked us. Um, or do you want me to go to the new territory... Uh, and build on that place above the cliff. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back three or four episodes ago from this episode to see what I'm talking about. So let me know what, what you guys think. I mean, I'm, I'm ultimately going to do what I want to do because that's just the way it is. But I'd still like to hear from you because it could affect a little bit about what we're doing. All right. I'm sitting here blabbing and not paying super close attention to what I'm doing, and I'm going to get at. All right. There we go. Okay, let's get our uh, hands washed here. Uh, I'm not going to grab that zinc. Don't need it right now. We are hot, too. There's another crate. Yeah, we could probably go get to that crate without pissing Charlie off. But here again, two of the three hunters have already attacked us. Anyways, I'm just not sure who. who. Thirty-two nails. Okay. Not the best nail haul, but not terrible either. I've had worse. <laughs> Had worse and had better. Let's grab these two trees and then we're going to swim back across the Wata and uh, assess the damage on the base. I should also start converting some of this wood to boards. Here, let's look at that. So we've got 153. Um, so let's take it down to about 80. Well, 75 works. We'll take it down to 75. Okay. Let's head on back uh, to the ranch there. That looks like it could be some pearls, so we'll grab that. Might as well grab some kelp too while we're at it. It's fairly deep down, but not so deep that we can't get to it. Yeah, we'll plan another uh, ca caving expedition here pretty soon. Do some more raiding. The usual. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, we gotta get air. We are full up. Uh, Let's get rid of that and let's eat this. Because I want to get that pearl. There we go. That's just a little too far for us to free dive. I mean, we could, but we're going to take some damage if we do, so let's not worry about too much. I think we're in, not in too bad a shape on pearls anyways. And I usually try and pick a few up when I do go caving. It'll be interesting to, uh, you know, how it changes the dynamic of the game a little bit when we can get to caves from above ground. There's a pearl over that way, too. We'll go grab that, because that's definitely reachable. I think that's a sandstone over there. Right next to that black bear. Yeah, because, you know, uh, it's going to change the game in a couple of ways. You don't have to do all the diving prep to get to the caves like you do now. Uh, which is significant, especially in the, you know, in the early to mid game when you're first starting out. And it'll also make retrieving your stuff if you do die in the cave a little bit simpler for that, kind of that same reason. Of course, that will also be affected by how close your base is to the entrance. Um, I've heard tell that where I had my base in Season 1 is going to be one of the entrances down into the caves. So that's interesting.
I'm trying to see if the the Bravo guy is stuck behind a fence because that indicates that Bravo was one of the hunter groups that attacked us. All right, how are we doing, chickens? You're a little bit low. Here, let's give you those. And I'll give you these carrots, too, because why not, right? And I'll give you those. That didn't really do a whole lot, though, did it? And they're going to need some water, too. Oh, yep. Yeah. Look at that. Look at these yahoos. Hi, guys. How you doing today? All right. Freebies. Uh, except for I don't have any room in my inventory to grab stuff, so let's drop a couple things off here real quick. Uh, that can go in there. This can go down here. That, that, and that. And this, and this. And this. Yeah, that should be enough for us to pick up whatever they dropped. Their bags do stick around for a little while, but not forever, so... All right, we've got some rifle rounds and oil. Um, medicinal tonics, those are always good to get. Anybody else, or is it just you two? They got stuck. Yeah, that, it's really cool how this base has turned... Oh, oh, never mind. I thought uh, we had lost a, a piece right there. How this base has turned out in terms of how it traps them. I, I had That was not my intention at all. It was completely... Just a random chance thing, but <laughs> it's been super helpful, man. Super helpful. Okay, yeah, we definitely have some damage we're going to have to repair, especially right around in here. Uh, probably that light's damaged. Uh, did we look down? Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad in that spot, but we did get attacked twice. Um. Okay, well, here. anyway, let's go finish our inventory stuff here and we need to get those chickens some some hydration as well all right we'll fill these guys back up I didn't actually look to see if our fires had gone out did they yeah they did all right We'll put Presto Logs. I'm actually quite low on those, too. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I'm just going to take a quick look on the top and see if there's any significant damage up here. Doesn't look like it. Looks like it was mostly just on that end. So that's not going to be too bad of a repair. We are. I am expecting, you know, another attack. And you know what? I don't see... Oh, there's a moose over there. And a anything uh i don't see bravo uh behind the fence there so it makes me think that maybe it was um alpha and charlie that attacked us all right since this guy delivered himself to us well sort of Oh, man. This is terrible. There. Yeah, come back at us. There you go. One shotgun blast and he's down. Come on, Bullwinkle. There we go. All right. Got ourselves a moose. Do I have room for his stuff? I don't. Damn it. Um. Okay, here. Put that in there. Um. Eat these. I don't care about that. That's sh hopefully that is enough. I think we need room for. Is it four things or three things? One, two, three, four, five things. Crap. Okay, this is the most important. This is the next most important. We have room for the fat. Uh, we'll eat the liver straight up. We'll take the hide. 
I don't really need antlers to be honest with you, but I kind of hate to throw stuff like that away though too. You know what? Two feathers. We don't need two feathers. Okay, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. And um, like I said, I will do the best that I can to, to get you at least one episode a week. Uh, you know, for the, for the coming weeks anyways. But uh, we will keep the series going. That is my plan to, to do that. And uh, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see me build up north on the river island. Um, I'm talking about, in, uh, incidentally, for those of you who might not know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about building... Uh, here? Why am I not see? Oh, yeah, it's not uncovered. I'm talking about building on this island right here. I thought, at first I thought it was this river, but it's this bigger river up here. Um, that's what I had been planning on until they came up with the update. So, if you'd like to see me build there... In the comments, let me know if you want to see me build in the new territory. Um, whoops, no room. Uh, on the top of that cliff by the waterfall that I, again, you know, look at the last two, three episodes back. If you don't know what I'm talking about. And let me know what you guys would prefer. Now, that's not going to happen immediately, though. We, we still have stuff to do here. Uh, I want to finish the build out on this base for sure. Um, before we, you know, we, we change that over. So, and the other thing I, I want to think about too, and let me know what you guys' opinion is on this. Cause I know other people have done this is, um, should I start all over again from the beginning or should I just move over and start a new season? Um, you know, there's pros and cons of course to both. So yeah, just give me some feedback on all that stuff and guys that is it for this episode so hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we will catch you in the next episode bye bye